it now seems fairly clear that the Federal Reserve, at least, is uh, pursuing now a more aggressive easing policy. And that was uh, that was foreshadowed by the statement that uh, Chairman Powell made uh, at the Jackson Hole Summit uh, a few days ago. So basically, Powell said, uh, number one, that uh, inflation is pretty much beaten. Um, number two, that employment uh, or maintaining employment, avoiding unemployment, was now a bigger criterion for uh, for the Federal Reserve to start watching. And the third thing that they said was that interest rates cuts are coming. So all those things are pretty good for markets. And I think once you add up the, uh, the general shape of what the economy looks like, you've got three major um, factors, I think, to look at, which makes me pretty upbeat. I mean, number one is that the Federal Reserve wants to ease. Uh, number two, you've got a sluggish economy in the US and sluggish economies uh, that need to be stimulated are normally good for liquidity. So in other words, policymakers will start pushing a lot more cash into markets. And the third thing is we've got a lid on inflation pressure, certainly in the short term, because China is suffering deflation and it's ex trying to export its way out of uh, out of deflation, which basically means that the world economy enjoys uh, low or even falling prices. So you've got a backdrop here, which I think looks pretty good for financial assets for the next few months. 